amazing experience and uh, sort of one of those things when I was a kid many years ago when I used to read the bodybuilding magazines and I really came from nothing. I didn't have a lot to work with, but I really loved lifting weights and I loved the discipline and the lifestyle and I was like, you know, one day I would love to be in muscle and fitness and it was such a dream and then as things kind of progressed in my career and I got a little bit better and it got a little bit closer, I was like, you know, this really could be a reality for me. Absolutely. And typically, um, I'm kind of shy, but uh, with my goals and with this, I was uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to call these guys up and tell them this is what I want to do. And, and look, so, look, look, look and what you so, did, man. Uh, and uh, you, listen, you're just getting started now. Let, let's let's uh, kind of step through uh, your competitive uh, sure. career. Tell me about some Absolutely. of the titles you've won. And I know you you just won one just two weeks ago. Just won one a couple a weeks ago. One, yeah. Big one. So uh, let's, let's talk about some of the titles you've I'll won. I'll talk a little bit, yeah, about my history. I started competing in 1999 uh, here in Texas in the NPC. And then my first overall, I uh, was uh, 26 years old and won a South Texas Classic in 2000. And then uh, the Lone Star Classic a couple of weeks later. And then uh, two years later, I went to NPC Nationals kind of on a whim. And yeah. I was a 5'11", five, five 210 pound heavyweight. And uh, I thought it would just be really fun to do it. And it was in Dallas, and I lived in Dallas. And uh, I got 12th place, which I thought was winning the Olympia. You know, yeah, there's 45 amazing. guys and in my nationals, class at yeah. nationals. Sure. Just to make top 15 that's, that's and like, to get to compete for me was, absolutely. it was really incredible. It was an yeah. incredible experience. It might as well be a pro show anymore. It, I mean, it's just uh, the, the level of competition has gotten so great. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, it was just uh, fun for me to have the experience. And then uh, I took a little bit of a break. You know, I got married, I had a family, and bodybuilding still had a, a place in my life, but it wasn't the number one place in my life. Of and course, supporting my career and supporting my family became my life. And then in 2006, I came back and came up with the idea that I would try to do a drug-free show and do a natural show. And I started working on that about a year out. And, and uh, I did that show with the idea that I would go to the team universe or the national championship for naturals in the NPC. And I, I did had the that show. Turn out for you. Uh, you know what? I, to be honest, I, I loved the natural thing. Um, it was an amazing experience. Uh, I couldn't stay away from wanting to go against the best people in the country. I really yeah. couldn't. Yeah. And so that turned me back so into I to I take it. I take it did really well in the natural show. I did really well. Yeah. One overall in the natural show. Okay. And then that's where the muscle and fitness shoots came from. And, right. then, uh, and then I went back to big national level. I went to the California State Championship in 2000. And eight and got nationally qualified and won the heavyweight class there, and then I went to junior nationals. Man, let me tell you something. That alone, winning, winning the uh, heavyweight class at the Californias, that's nothing to sneeze. It was fun. It that's, was fun. That's competitive. I, I wanted to make a statement. And, 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 and now you're competing in Texas, which arguably yes. has become the most competitive bodybuilding state in the country. Because you know, I remember when I was coming up through the amateur ranks, we had a lot of really, really mm -hmm. good bodybuilders mm -hmm. here. You know, uh, but uh, now, now you know, we got Ronnie Coleman. We, you know, we got. Uh, uh, I mean, just Branch the, Warren, Branch Johnny Warren, Jackson, Johnny Jackson, Jackson, incredible pros, and yeah. an incredible number of national level competitors. Steve Kuklo, my training partner, right. an incredible super heavyweight. Well, yourself, I know, and I know you've got so, the uh, you've got the uh, uh, the USA's or the national. USA's sport. are coming yeah. next, yeah. So, I, you know, I think bodybuilding is such a incredible sport in Texas, and I've been an NPC judge in Texas since 2002, and so I've seen a lot of people come through the sport, and the consistency of the competitors here is, is, is incredible. And I've judged shows in California and I've kind of been around and it is an incredible bodybuilding state with a ton of talent and uh, it's really exciting. And so, uh, so I did do the national show in 2006 and I went in 2008 got fifth in a junior, uh, junior nationals heavyweight class that was really packed, uh, really awesome. And then I uh, took a little bit more time off to build my business. I trained competitors and I'm a consultant for competitors. Awesome. And, uh, so, so you know all the ropes, man. You know, you know how to dial people in, right? I, I don't know. I, I, I feel good about it. I mean, yeah. I've done it with a lot of people. I've done it for 12 years, and it sort of is sort of my passion. It's what I do for a living, and, um, and I love doing it. So I, I get to work with a lot of different people. I'm in a people management business today, That's more right. so than a training right. business. And so it's really good. And so, But I still feel like it's important for me to lead by example and, and to be out there and do my own thing. So I did that here at the West Texas Classic three weeks ago in, in Lubbock and won the overall there so that I could Good. get nationally qualified and start working on USA in Good. July. So how, yeah. how many weeks now till the USA? That's uh, 15 from Saturday. 15 and you look yeah. like this? Holy smokes. Well, I'm gonna take a little bit of a building phase. You know, I came, I stayed in shape because I wanted to look amazing for you guys and it was really important for me to, to look good and to perform well wait, this, wait, this you, weekend. You, you certainly do. So I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna so actually flex those before we stop. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, man, look mm. at that. Mm. Yeah, that bicep's really coming out, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm. And what do you think your stronger body parts are, Jeff? You know, uh, I, my legs have always been sort of my uh, my, my strength and then yeah. kind of my weakness, and that yeah. like it's taken me years 
to even out my body and, and I have a lot of natural fullness in my legs and did not have as much fullness in my upper body so it took me years to kind of train even myself out and that will always always be something that I have to work on and then I've brought my back up a lot over the years I love to train back I love to train legs all the heavy hard stuff you love, you love them all right I do See,